Good evening, the graduates and the faculty and the members of the distinguished panel up here are already standing up. Would all of you stand as we present the colors? Color guard, advance the colors. Christina Carter will now uh, lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Ready, begin. I pledge to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which stands one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Dismissed. Please be seated. Thank you very much. Before we begin this evening and make our brief welcoming remarks, as is uh, often typical with events where lots of people gather, some keys were left in one of the restrooms, and I will have them, the fellow with the funny hat, so that when you see me at the reception after the ceremony is over, this is a set of keys that has four names. It's obviously, it obviously it belongs to a family. Only I know the four names, and you can have it if you give me the four names. And she's already raising her hand. <laughs> Welcome. It's a very uh, wonderful night for a graduation. We think it's going to be cool, not too cold. It is my personal privilege and honor to welcome you to our special, as our special guest, to this 34th annual Golden West College commencement ceremony. We are here tonight to salute the graduating students at Golden West College and to recognize our distinguished faculty at Golden West for all of their efforts in contributing to the success of the students that we honor here tonight. For 34 years, our college, Golden West, has been holding graduation ceremonies to honor the graduates. We have had a rich tradition here in Huntington Beach, and it continues tonight 
as we recognize these graduates for their many accomplishments. We would like to thank the Garden Grove Police Department Color Guard for so ably presenting the flags tonight. Also, our colleague and maestro, Mr. Tom Hernandez, and the Golden West College Symphonic Band for their music. I would like to draw your attention, call your attention to the many flags that surround us here this evening. They represent some of the countries of our many international students who are enrolled here at the college. We are especially pleased this year that 12 of our international students are receiving the Associate in Arts degree. For your information, there are 684 students tonight receiving the Associate in Arts degree. They include the Summer 2000, the Fall 2000, and the Spring 2001 Certificates of Achievement in over 40 different occupational areas which are being awarded to 288 recipients. The total degree and certificate recipients number is 956 awards. Our oldest graduate receiving a certificate or award tonight is 67 years of age. Our youngest Our youngest is 19 years of age. There are 130 students graduating with honors having earned a 3.5 GPA or grade point average or higher, and three graduates have a perfect 4.0 GPA. Graduates receiving the Associate in Arts degree are wearing green. Gold gowns are being worn by students receiving the Certificate of Achievement. Graduates from our very distinguished nursing program are wearing white. They graduated in a special ceremony last night. Those students wearing a gold cord are graduating with honors. And that's a special achievement in and of itself. Finally, those who are wearing the gold stole are members of the Alpha Gamma Sigma Honor Society. <laughs> While we are here tonight to honor our graduates, I would like to take just a moment to call your attention to the scholarships and awards sections of your graduation program. We are extremely proud of the fact that this year, Golden West College awarded over $162,000 to the deserving students who are listed in the program. This brings to $1.4 million in scholarships that have been awarded to our students through the Golden West College Foundation since 1986. We are a relatively young foundation, but we have an outstanding track record. Now, before we continue the ceremony, I would like to introduce the members of our platform party up behind me. Members of the Coast Community College District Board of Trustees that are here with us this evening are the president of our board, Mr. Armando Ruiz. The vice president of the Board of Trustees of the Coast Community College District, Mr. Walt Howald. A member of the Board of Trustees from Costa Mesa, Dr. Paul Berger. A member of our Board of Trustees from Seal Beach, Mr. George Brown. The student trustee who has done yeoman service this year is a student at Orange Coast College, Ms. Jenny Kirkpatrick. Representatives from our Coast Community College District that are present here tonight, Dr. William Vega, Chancellor of the District. From Golden West College, of course, Mr. Wes Bryan, the Vice President of Instruction. Dr. Debacher Barua, President of the Academic Senate. 
And somewhere tending the grounds is Dr. Lee Eastwood in the back. Christina Carter is the president of the Associated Students of Golden West College, and she led us tonight in the Pledge of Allegiance. She is this year's recipient of the R. Dudley Boyce Award as well. And finally, our guest speaker, who will be introduced at a later time, is Dr. Simeon Crowther. And the gentleman that prepared the script, but I left out here, is our Vice President of Student Services, Mr. Richard Porter. He prepared the script, but he didn't put his name in the script. How about that? That's <laughs> low publicity. Right now, our distinguished group of singers, the Golden West College Chamber Singers, under the direction of Bruce Bales, will perform for us.
Christina want to come up here? The R. Dudley Boyce Outstanding Student Award is named after our founding president. It is considered by many to be the college's most prestigious student award. Nominees for this award are judged on the basis of contribution to both the college and the community. Applicants must demonstrate both scholarship and leadership. Leadership is judged on five dimensions. Let me review those attributes and share some examples of what others have said in nominating this student, Christina Carter. Vision. Lloyd Wilcox wrote, in my 41 years of teaching, she is one of the relatively few students who not only benefited from college, but she also benefited the whole college community back. Organization. Lloyd went on to say, she consistently displays strong organizational and leadership skills. Another person wrote, she's dependable, she gets things done. Communication. Roxana Ross, AGS faculty advisor, said, Christina has been a dedicated student leader who has consistently been involved in student government and student activities and has worked hard to be a voice for students' needs on a variety of campus committees. On a personal note, I might add that I've worked with a lot of students on a lot of different committees. And she was one of the few students that would often come by my office ahead of time or make an appointment and say, you know, I've been looking at this agenda and I don't understand something and I'd like to talk with students about it. And she would try to clarify that so that she could be the kind of strong advocate that's informed and understands the topics. Action. In preparing for this presentation, I discovered that in the world of the web, Ms. Carter is known as Buzzy Redhead. I think that sums up her spirit of engagement. She has a wide range of interests and a smile that can engage almost anyone into a conversation on almost any topic. She's helped with voter registration, represented AGS as their homecoming candidate, served on the Honor Program Advisory Council, She's been active in student government for four semesters, including the, holding the office of both vice president and then president. She's been the student voice representing Golden West College at the Coast Community College District Board of Trustees. Obviously, Ms. Carter's a doer. Empathy. Valerie Venegas, the student activities director, wrote, Cristana is conscientious willing to go that extra mile, is considerate, innovative, understands people and their needs, always completes her goals, and is well liked by students, staff, and administrators who've gotten to know her. Scholarship. Another individual wrote, she's inquisitive and willing to seek additional information to clarify her own understanding. She contributes to discussions by sharing her ideas and listening to the viewpoints of others. She's the kind of self-motivated learner every teacher enjoys. Last fall, she earned a 4.0. She's been on the dean's list two semesters and will be transferring to UC Irvine this fall where she'll major in criminology, law, and society. Christina, on a final note, I want to say that this award not only recognizes your con contribution in time, energy, scholarship, and citizenship to the college, but it is awarded in recognition of things yet to come. It is given at graduation because graduation is a time where we honor what each graduate has accomplished while pointing them toward a future that has depended on them to use the best of what they've been given to shape a life worthy of their dreams. Diplomas and awards come with strings attached. The people of California, your parents, scholarship donors, corporate taxpayers have invested in your education 
with an eye toward the contribution you'll be able to make to your profession, your family life, and the greater community. So you know, we'll all be rooting for you, Buzzy Redhead. We thank you for the contributions you made. We look forward to the ones that you'll make to your profession, your family, and your community in the future. Thank you. I'm very honored to be the recipient of the R. Dudley Boyce Award. I'd like to say thank you to the administrators, in particular Wes Bryan and Dr. Iglesias. I'd also like to say thank you to Valerie Venegas in helping me transition and training me. I'd like to say thank you to all the faculty and the staff. I've had many wonderful professors in my two years here. I'd like to say thank you to all the friends I made here. You made it bearable. <laughs> I'd like to say thank you to my boyfriend, Jared, and his grandma for, for listening to me and giving me advice. And last, I'd like to say thank you to my family and to my relatives. Without your support, I would never have made it through these two years. This is the time of year many of you will get greeting cards. I would like to share with you a quote that I found in a graduation greeting card. The quote's by Tim Tweedy. It reads, what does it mean to succeed? Most people see success as being rich and famous or powerful and influential. Others see it as being at the top of their profession and standing out from the rest. The wise see success in a more personal way. They see it as achieving the goals they have set out for themselves and then f feeling pride and satisfaction in their accomplishments. True success is felt in the heart, not measured by money and power. So be true to yourself and achieve the goals you set, for success is reaching the goals and feeling proud of what you have accomplished. All of you are successful because you set the goal of graduating and being here today and you met that goal. Thank you. We have a, uh, as you notice, Professor Ruth Kramer wasn't introduced because we have a little change. Um, technical difficulties and uh, Dr. Barua will introduce our speaker. So the Academic Senate President at Golden West College is Dr. Debacher Barua and he will introduce Dr. Simeon Crowther. Good evening, and congratulations, Christina. I really was moved by what you said about success. I think success is not personal. In fact, the true success is to realize that we are all interdependent and interconnected. And an evening like this, in spite of the overcast nature of the sky, makes my heart very glad. Our speaker, commencement speaker, is Dr. Simeon Crowther, who is, uh, a professor of economics at the California State University. And he knows all about interdependence, I think, because he studies economic history and history. He has a long uh, line and list of publications in that area. He received his bachelor's degree in history from the University of Oregon and his PhD in economic history from the University of Pennsylvania. He has been a member of the Department of Economics at Cal State Long Beach, where many of you will go, since 1968. That's a little before my time. Over his years there, he has been the Dean of College of Social and Behavioral Sciences, the Vice President for Academic Affairs, and he is now completing his third term as Chair of the University Academic Senate. Dr. Crowther's academic interests and publications are in the area of American and European economic history, and he's currently developing a course on the global economy. So without further ado, Dr. Simeon Koda. Thank you, Professor. 
I'm afraid 1968 is before most anybody's time. Uh, I'm delighted to be here this evening. I thank Professor Iglesias and the board for their invitation. Uh, I greet you all, although I have to say that this is not the first time that I have addressed students from Golden West College. I have been addressing them on a regular basis several times a week for the last 32 years. Indeed, I expect to be doing the same thing in the fall. I used to be able to say I had taught your older brothers and sisters. I now have to speak about your parents. If there are any grandparents in the audience who have benefited from my instruction, I'd appreciate it if you just keep it to yourself. What I have found over the years, and what my faculty colleagues have found over the years, is the graduates of this college, Golden West College, are among the best prepared, best motivated students that we ever get. We're enormously proud of the fact that many of you have chosen to come to Cal State Long Beach. It was only by pleading a lack of dignity that I was able to persuade President Maxson that I wouldn't be distributing application forms tonight. <laughs> what I want to say particularly about the graduates of this college, and it does apply certainly to the graduates of the other uh, community colleges in this district, is that the faculty at California State University Long Beach, and if I refer a good deal of, to the faculty, you have to remember I am the chair of the Academic Senate. Uh, and I come here in a sense not only representing the university as a whole, but certainly representing them. Our experience uh, with students from this college and others in the district is essentially one where when we began teaching, most of us who came to Cal State Long Beach came with the notion in mind that we would be teaching at a four-year college where people who were 17 or 18 came in the front door and waltzed out the back door after four years. This was a complete misunderstanding of the mission of the California State University and of the California Master Plan for Higher Education. And we were delighted. One of the things that has been the source of greatest inspiration to us personally has been the extraordinary variety of students that we have dealt with over the years. When President Maxson arrived at Cal State Long Beach, one of the first things he asked me, because apparently he had been involved in some discussions with faculty groups, was why the faculty was so enormously enthusiastic about transfer students. He had come from an institution very freshman oriented and that was just fine. And he was delighted at the faculty's attitude, but he wanted to know where did that attitude come from? And the attitude comes from a very simple circumstance. Virtually every example all of us have as teachers of students who have overcome substantial challenges to educate themselves, to develop themselves personally beyond even what they had imagined initially are all transfer students. Everybody's favorite story is about such a student. It's not that we don't like freshmen, it's that we've lived our lives with you folks. And the extraordinary achievements that you have made with the support of your families and many of you, of course, supporting families while you have done it. So a consequence of this is that we not only look forward to your coming, as I referred to President Maxson, we actively recruit you. I need to say a word as well about my colleagues in the first few rows here, the faculty of this college. You have done, in our view, an extraordinary job year after year over the last, well, 32 years of my experience in preparing and motivating students 
to be able to experience their full potential. When students come to Cal State Long Beach, they're ready to move on to other things. Commencement from this institution is, in fact, a commencement, a real beginning for them that all of you have to uh, bear a great deal of, get a great deal of the credit for, and I know it's been the result of extraordinary effort. It is easy for me to understand that. Uh, unlike a faculty member who might come from a university solely devoted to research, who only teaches graduate students, we teach the same students. We teach the same courses. I've, in fact, over the course of my years here, worked with a number of faculty at this and other colleges in the district in my own discipline. And we have learned a great deal from doing that. What I would like to say to the graduates, and this is, of course, sort of one of the last big times you get lectured at by uh, 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 somebody my age, is the number of challenges that you face are the challenges that every graduate faces. There are two kinds. The first kind is the most obvious, and the ones that I think most of you are, in the simple intellectual sense, the best trained to deal with. And those are the challenges of the material world. We face an energy crisis. Well, last year we faced another crisis. Next year there will be another one after that. We can talk a lot about the challenges of the material world in our society, but I'm afraid at length we have to admit that we live in the richest country on Earth. Material challenges are not, in fact, what is, are the most difficult challenges that face this society. The most serious challenges are always the second kind, the spiritual challenges. We have to find a way to make our society more just, more caring, better able to serve the needs of everyone in the society. We can always be richer but we most definitely need to be richer in the spirit. And I think that the graduates of institutions like this are in the vanguard of that kind of effort. My hope for you, my wish for you, is that the most important thing that you do when you graduate from here is not even that you come to Cal State Long Beach, but that you help to build your community, our community that you devote your intellectual and your emotional energies to making your community better, to making your community more open to others, more caring about others. If you do that, you will more than have fulfilled uh, the highest aspirations of the parents who helped bring you here and the faculty who have helped you learn here. The last point I would like to make is that there's one other challenge that I have for you. And that is to support Golden West College, to support your college, to protect your college. You are members of the community. You will be voters and taxpayers. This institution and others like it in the district need to be supported, need to be protected, need to be a high priority in our society. Otherwise, those that come after you are going to have a much more difficult time getting up the ladder. So, you leave now with our best wishes and our highest hopes. Congratulations. I want to make a special acknowledgement to Dr. Crowther. Um, he came in to pinch hit at the last minute. One of our speakers that we had planned for for several months, uh, her mo mother became violently ill at the last moment, and she's on a death watch now. So again, I want to thank Dr. Simeon Crowther for taking my phone call and coming down here with three days' notice.
he, he was a vice president when I taught at Cal State Long Beach, and I was scared to death of the man, so. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now that I've said that, I feel better. Uh, this is the time where all of the graduates really, really um, look forward to. This is called the time of the presentation of the class. So what I'd like to do now is call up my colleague and the president of our board, Mr. Armando Ruiz, and I'd like all of the graduates and certificate awardees to stand up. Uh, we do not ask you to raise your right hand, so you don't have to do that, but I want to read something to you, and I, I hope you uh, listen to what we have to say. Representing the faculty, the staff, the administration, the Board of Trustees at Golden West College and the Coast Community College District, it is with great pleasure that I present to the Coast Community College District Board of Trustees the Class of 2001. The students before you have satisfactorily completed all the requirements for the Associate in Arts degree or Certificate of Achievement and are now eligible to receive their diplomas and certificates. The Chairman of our Board, Mr. Ruiz. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Inglesias. On behalf of the Coast Community College District's Board of Trustees, I accept the graduating class of 2001 and authorize the receipt of their earned degrees and certificates. May they continue their pursuit of personal achievements and strengthen their commitments to our society. Congratulations. Now this is the part that you will truly love, which is the part where your name is called and you march and you get the piece of paper and we joke around with you and ask you where you're going for your future years or what you're going to do next. So, it is time for the graduates to come forward and accept their degrees. Don't all do it at once. We have a little process here. You, you may sit down now. I apologize. We have about 15 cameras here that we're uh, getting ready to take pictures, so the cameras are under the seats here. Wa Fuk To. Du T Lee. Certificate of Achievement in Floral Design. Mon T. Lu, Certificate of Achievement in Floral Design. Kim Lin Lee, Certificate of Achievement in Floral Design. An Kin Nguyen. Certificate of Achievement in Floral Design and Shop Management. <laughs> Betty Wynn, Certificate of Achievement in Floral Design. <laughs> Sang S. Han, Certificate of Achievement in Floral Design. <laughs> Cindy Yen Nguyen, Certificate of Achievement in Floral Design. Nock An Hoon, Certificate of Achievement in Floral Design and Shop Management. <laughs> Von T. Trum, Certificate of Achievement in Floral Design and manage Shop Management. Lone Kim Nguyen, Certificate of Achievement in Floral Design and Shop Management. <laughs> Lisa T. Pham, Certificate of Achievement in Computer Office Application. Kim Mai T. Nguyen, Certificate of Achievement in Computer and Business Office Administration. Tiet T. Trung, 
Certificate of Achievement in Accounting Clerk. Accounting clerk. <laughs> Tiffany Dew, Certificate of Achievement in Esthetician Program. <laughs> Amina Ali, Certificate of Achievement in Esthetician. <laughs> Pardon me? Okay. Willa Ramirez, Business Office. Denise Jane Halfen, Associate Arts Degree in Nursing. Lisa Ann Thomas, Associate Arts Degree in Nursing, Graduate with Honors. Christina Lorraine Clark, Associate Arts Degree in Nursing. Jamie M. Lee, Associate Art Degree in Nursing. Jamie. Emerson C. Paisan, Associate Arts Degree in Nursing. Yeah. Carrie Michelle Jarman, Associate Arts Degree in Nursing. Yeah. Pardon me? Okay. Joseph Gregory Balberin, Associate Arts Degree in Nursing. Ann E. O'Connor, Associate Arts Degree in Nursing. Amber Michelle Shop, Associate Arts Degree in Nursing. Darby Shaw Service, Associate Arts Degree in General Education. Did I see that back? Lori K. Hatcher. Associate Arts Degree in Nursing with Honors. Not nursing. I'm sorry. <laughs> in what? Associate of Arts. Associate of Arts. <laughs> graduation with Honors. Thank you. <laughs> Pardon me? Nursing. Okay. Martha Lam, Associate Arts Degree in Nursing. Okay. Maggie R. Curtis, Associate Arts Degree in Business Administration. James R. Fullerton, Associate Arts Degree, Graduation with Honors. Malcolm R. Craycroft, Associate Arts Degree with Honors. Lim M. Johnson, Associate Arts Degree. <clears throat> Judy Rodriguez Watson, Associate's Arts Degree, Graduation with Honors. Leticia Fong, Associate Arts Degree. Tu Hong Lee. Tasman Bijom. Katie Kumper. Yesena E. Flores. James E. Berkheimer. Melissa K. Martinez, graduation with honors. Gina C. Garcia, associate arts degree. Jennifer, Jennifer McPherson. Pardon me? I'm sorry. Okay. Amanda Melaine Banville. <laughs> Carolyn K. Corbin. Kimberly E. Austin. Social Arts Degree, graduation with honors. Karen Lee Schultz. Laura G. Carey. Donna L. Lopez. She falls. 
Maureen R. Rutledge, Associate Arts Degree, graduation with honors. Kimberly Ann Morgan, Associate Arts Degree, graduation with honors. Geraldine E. Deason, Associate Arts Degree, graduation with honors. You thought I would know that. Alisa A. Doritas. Adam P. Cadillac. Is that right? Laura Rodriguez. Vitaya Lapapanich. Danielle Marie Armanderas. Barbara L. Fisher. Trin Tuyet No. Social Arts Degree, graduation with honors. Linon T. Ho. Hua H. Din. John E. Seabooth. Re Rebecca Leah Hirschberg, AA degree, criminal justice. Harriet Ann Nord. I know you. Carol Ann Bukinko, Certificate in Esthetician Program. Cecile M. Tronvanti, Certificate of Achievement in Cos Cosmetology Esthetician Option. Nock T. Wynn, Esthetician Program. Fung Dawn, Associate Arts Degree, graduation with honors. Pardon me? Okay. R. Penny Andreessen, Associate Arts Degree. You don't want me to? Teresa Tan. Zinab B. Shah. <laughs> Kailana P. Guditelka. Associate Arts Degree, graduation with honors. Mina M. Lee. Associate Arts Degree, graduation with honors. Fung Lin T. On. Michael Larkin. I don't want to hold this for you. Jack, Jessica Lexis Lee, Esthetician Program and Associate Arts Degree. Matthew V. Hudnall, Social Arts Degree. Sigrid E. Rockovitz, Social Arts Degree. Kinuko Washida, Social Arts Degree. Eric Pitts. <laughs> Heather M. DeRusa. <laughs> Carolyn Diane Ochi.
Paul H. Herndon. Na B. Tran, Social Arts degree, graduation with honors. William C. Rorick, Social Arts degree, graduation with honors. Andy On Wen, Social Arts degree. Wan Kung T. Wen. Tran Ha Wen. Long N Wen. Brian T. Tran. How are you? Congratulations. My P. Hune, Social Arts degree, graduates with honors. Katie Zung Mai, Social Arts degree, graduation with honors. And proud and proud of it. <laughs> Din Q Wen, Social Arts Group. <laughs> Joseph A. Lampkin, Certificate of Achievement, Computer A Drafting. Shannon M. Carpenter, Social Arts degree, graduation with honors. <laughs> Claudia M. Luna. <laughs> you don't think I know that? Okay. Jeannie A. Gutierrez, Social Arts degree, Graduation with honors. Tyne S.W. Patterson, Social Arts degree. Uh, last name is Becky, but say Bettina for my mother. Both. Okay. Tita L. Babby, she wants me to say Bettina for her mother. Social Arts degree. Certificate in Graphic Design. Claire Radecki. Gardena Cuevas. Juliet Loon. Tan Tui Wen. <laughs> Fung T Hoon. Tony Lee, Social Arts degree, graduation with honors. Hong A. Lee, Social Arts degree, graduation with honors. An Fan.
Andrea Marie Rios. Scott Allen Mills, Associate Arts degree, graduation with honors. Pardon me. Tweet. Selena Kui, Certificate in Administration Assistant. D. Wei Tran. T. D. Tran, Esthetician Program. Hassan Mati. Nicholas Lee Anglin. Gabriel P. Razzo. Jose L. Perez. Benjamin T. Vu. Kim P. Lee, Certificate of Achievement, Staff Account, and Associate Arts Degree. You're going to have to help. Please. Rashida. Rashida. Last name? Pandadran. Rashida Pandadran, Associate Arts Degree, Graduation with Honors. April Milliken. Certificate Achievement Interpreting for the Deaf and Associate Arts Degree. Chin T. Dow, Associate Arts Degree, Graduation with Honors. Lily H. Tron. Alice T. Wong, Social Arts Degree, Graduation with Honors. Lon Wong T. Nguyen. <laughs> Quinn Ja Da. Tin Hugh T. Nguyen, Associate Arts Degree, Graduation with Honors. <laughs> Tan Wan Phi Dean, Associate Arts Degree. Lin Tui Nguyen. Sharon H. Tran. Quinn P. Wynn, Social Arts Degree, Graduation with Honors. Maria G. Candelario. Marlene Teresa Duarte, Social Arts Degree. Morjde K. Poor. Odette M. Cheetah.
Yadi A. Patel. Koki Yamashita. You think I don't know that name? Aida Lynn Villegas. Danielle A. Newton, Certificate in Achievement in Accounting. Big Trine, Certificate of Achievement in Engineering Technology. Zin Van Diep, Certificate of Achievement, Automotive Collision Repair. Dong Vung, Automotive Collision Repair. Hi Win, Certificate of Achievement in Automotive Technology. Khan T. Hong, Certificate of Achievement in Automotive Collision Repair. Dung N. Vu, Certificate of Achievement, Computer Drafting Technology. Ka Dang Nguyen, Certificate of Achievement, Automotive Technology. Khan Tan Vu, Certificate Achievement, Certificate, Computer Applications. Son Stan Trung, Social Arts Degree. <laughs> Marie A. Scott, Social Arts Degree. Mai T. Bui, Certificate Achievement, Floral Design. <laughs> Kelly A. Steger. <laughs> Jane I. Koo. Suzanne P. Hutton. Hoon Dung No. Ragi Youssef Riyad, Associate Arts Degree, Graduation with Honors. Mark D. Johnson. Rory Anderson Costello. Todd B. Barrett, Social Arts Degree in Criminal Justice. Dervin G. Spradley, Social Arts Degree in Recording Arts. Okay. After I read your name. Amy Catherine Barr, Social Arts Degree, Speech commu and Communications. Eileen M. Shore. Vincent L. Rivera. Ta Tan Lee.
Ahn N. Wen. Brian Sellen. Robin E. Brian Sellen. <laughs> Yvette E. Flood Price, Social Arts Degree in Television Production. Sarah Helena Takla. Goichi Asado. Ki Ya. Yuki Yamoto. Yoko Nishu. Tomoko U, social arts degree. You're in though. <coughs> social arts degree, graduation with honors. <coughs> Yukiko Tenju Tenijuchi, social arts degree, graduation with honors. Notice how the honors kids sit together? All of them sit together. Khan N. Tran, social arts degree, graduation with honors. Y'all sit together. Ashley Bloter Artunde, Certificate in Cosmetology and Associate Arts Degree. Yvette L. Casali, Associate Arts Degree in Music. Terry K. St. Pierre, Certificate in Achievement, Visual Communication and Graphics. <laughs> Elaine Dung, Social Arts Degree. <laughs> Tal T. Hang. <laughs> Ken Tong Nguyen. Kazuko R. Beardsley. <laughs> Rashes Gamani, Certificate in Achievement, General Management, and Human Resource Management. Cheryl L. Odell. <laughs> Gary M. Bruner. Bonnie J. Park, social, social arts degree, graduation with honors. Karen Allen, certificate in achievement in sign language interpreting for the deaf. Catherine L. Lee, she has two. Social arts degree, sign, certificate of achievement in sign language interpreting. Rachel Ann Labasio, Certificate of Achievement, Sign Language, Interpreting for the Deaf. Mandy L. Reed, Certificate of Achievement, Sign Language, Interpreting. <coughs> Beholdi G. M. Anna, Sign Language, Interpreting for the Deaf. That's what she wrote. <laughs> Natalie F. Grabart. <clears throat> Bar 
Rhonda Lee Henry. Tanya Hyun Toon Nguyen. Certificate Achievement in Accounting and Associate Arts Degree. Lou A. N. Everett's Associate Arts Degree, Certificate in Accounting. Tweet Lee Tran. Close for me. Na H. Lee. Lisa Fung Lee, Social Arts Degree, Graduation with Honors. Neil J. Whiting, Certificate in Achievement, Architectural Technology. Maria J. Gutierrez, Certificate of Achievement, Colonel Justice. Irina L. Miller, Social Arts Degree, Criminal Justice. Yvonne E. Ortega, Social Arts Degree in Communications. Paul A. Booth. Okay. James Kittredge, AA Degree. I can't do that. I, I gotta keep this job. Christina A. McFall. Loves Diva. Be careful going home. Autumn R. C. K. Doe. John Dong Pham, Certificate <clears throat> in Achievement, Automotive Technology, and his Associate Arts Degree. No. <laughs> he wants me to read Alex Daddy James. <laughs> Got it. Mauricio. F. Marenko. I like your name. Lori Ann Cravaco, Social Arts Degree, Graduation with Honors. Hoon G. Nguyen. Ha and Huang. Social Arts Degree, Graduation with Honors. Don't know, let's get sit together. Please. Yen X. Luong, Social Arts Degree, Graduation with Honors. Han Vu, Social Arts Degree, Graduation with Honors. Hugh T. Nguyen. Louis Vu, Social Arts Degree, Graduation with Honors. <laughs> Tuan Ki Din, Social Arts Degree, Graduation with Honors. <laughs> Quan T. Do. <laughs> Ni 
Nim Ki Lee, Certificate in Drafting. Tawan Van Vo, Certificate in Electronics. What's your name again? You sure? Christina L. Carter, Art Deadly Voice winner, Associate Arts degree, the last one. Well, not bad, an hour and about 20 minutes. This will now conclude our 2001 commencement ceremony. You have seen the graduates, there they are, and the thing that we must ask you to do is please remain seated while the graduates and the recessional clears the area. Immediately following the conclusion of this ceremony, we invite you to join us for a reception on the south end of the central quad. You will see a cake back there and some goodies. So please join us, take pictures, and remember, I have a set of keys with four names. Come and see me, and you can have it for $10,000. <laughs> Goodbye. Thank you very much for being here today. Thank you.